Hey guys, Justin here with the Satellite Phone Store, and today we're gonna to talk about the updated version of the Iridium Go, which is the Iridium Go Exec. This device now has the ability to have two satellite phone numbers. You can make a phone call directly from the device as now there is a speaker and a microphone on the device itself. It's able to be used as a Wi-Fi hotspot globally, and they've come out with a nicely new refresh app, which has a ton of rich features, and we will get into that shortly. Before we get into it though, let's do the unboxing. In the box, we have the unit itself. It comes with a handy cover included to protect the device while being transported. The antenna will still be able to be deployed with this case. It comes with a quick start guide and a quick setup for the SOS. Below are the accessories, which are the charger and adapters for international travel. The way they designed the new charger is super slick and attaching international adapters is one of the cleanest I've seen. Instead of having to pull off the US plug, you slide the international adapters over the US plug. Let's look at the ports on the device. Starting from the left, we have the SOS button, the SIM chip port, ethernet, the USB-C charging port, and on the far right is the USB port for using the device to charge other devices or a headset. There is one more port next to the antenna, which is the external antenna port. On the top of the device is a touchscreen where you can make calls, turn on data, control what data goes to your device, hit the SOS, and get into settings. Now let's download the app and get started with setup. Go into the App Store or Google Play and download the Iridium Go Exec app. Once you've downloaded the app, go outside and flip up the antenna on the exec. Once the exec turns on, go into the app. The app will prompt you to connect to the exec. You can do this either manually by going into your phone settings and connecting to the device through your Wi-Fi. It will be listed as Iridium and a series of numbers. And the default password is password. Alternatively, the app will prompt you to scan the QR code on the bottom of the device to connect to Wi-Fi. Once you've connected for the first time, you may need to do a firmware update, which you need to do prior to use. Next, let's set up the SOS. Included with your documentation is a setup guide. You can scan the QR code, and this will bring you to a website for SOS setup, or you can go to the home of the International Emergency Response Coordination Center, or IERCC.com. You will need the IMEI number and your satellite phone number. You can find your IMEI on the bottom of the device. To make a call with the exec, you have two options. You can call directly from the unit itself or use your phone and the app. On the unit itself, you have a speaker located here and a microphone here. You will need to have a clear line of sight to the sky and then deploy the antenna. Once you have signal, you'll hit the phone icon on the front Dial country code, then the number. If you are using the app, you need to make sure your device is connected to the Iridium through Wi-Fi. Then you will hit the phone icon and enter the phone number, country code first. You can now use the phone as a handset. You can have two simultaneous calls on separate devices if two lines are set up. Hey Nicole, I'm just testing out the Iridium exec making sure that it works, calling it from Indonesia. All right, great, thank you. To use data, you can either enable this directly on the device or through the app. Once again, ensure you have a clear line of sight and that the unit is showing satellite signal. You will go to the globe icon, tap connect. Below this, you have the option to set the time limit on connection. This will help you conserve data. Our suggestion is to put your phone into airplane mode, go to settings, go to general, background app refresh, and turn it off. On a computer, we suggest downloading a third party app called trip mode. This will limit apps from using data and allow you to control what can use data. You can also have the Iridium Go exec limit what is being used. For example, you can set it to WhatsApp or Gmail so that just the app will work. You can do this both in the app or directly on the unit. 
To set up your voicemail, it's very simple. Click on the phone icon, either on the device or in the app. Click on the voicemail icon and call the voicemail line you wish to set up. Once you get through to the voicemail, it'll ask you for your password. The default password is 1234. From there, just follow the prompts and you'll be able to either set up a custom greeting or use a default greeting. One last thing to cover, if you wish to change the default password from password to something custom, you can go into the settings cog on the app, click on the Wi-Fi settings, then go down to password and change it to the desired password. The Iridium Exec is perfect for a wide variety of customers. Anybody from aviation, maritime, emergency response, backup to emergency response, or if you're somebody who's traveling and needs to stay connected globally, this thing is a great solution for you. It still also works with Predict Wind, and we will do a separate video on how to connect that with this device. Thank you for watching, and if you have more questions, please contact Satellite Phone Store.